guys! Welcome to another monthly favorites. This month it's all about pens. I got a couple new kinds of pens for Christmas and I've been loving them and so I just added a couple more pens to the list and this month's favorites is all about writing implements. So we're gonna get started. Uh, you're gonna notice my voice is terrible and I might start coughing at some point. Oh my gosh, this cold has just been going on and on and on. Anyway, the very first favorite this month are these Muji gel pens. I've been using these um, for just my general planning for the last while now. Um, I'm in the 05 millimeter size and they work really great for me. They write really well. They, um, they don't skip and they dry super fast and I'm just really loving them. I came here from the Pilot G2 I had that in a larger size, so that was part of the problem, but it was just, it took forever to dry. It was smudging all the time. I just found it to be so stressful waiting for things to dry. These dry completely instantly. Look at that. Nothing practically at all. It's the tiniest little bit of a smudge there. There we go. You can smudge it if you try, but they work really well, and I like the fine point of the 05, and they also fit in the pen loop on your final fax molded. So that is a major plus. Don't worry about the baby. The, my husband's watching her. Favorite number two are these Zebra Mild Liner brush pens. I know these were also on my favorites list last month, but I have been loving them even more this month. Uh, let's grab got brown that's fun I've been using these just a little bit as sort of um, like a practice um, I've just been doing some practice brush lettering on my weeklies just to like make that part of my routine and so I'll just write like one word on my weeklies that's like a you know theme for the week and it's just really good for me to get that practice. I love the colors, of course, of the mild liners. I already had the highlighters in a couple of these colors, but now I have the full 15 count here. And you can highlight with this brush pen just fine. It's gonna be slightly more um, uneven sometimes. You know, you'll end up with like something like that if you're not careful, but you can highlight with these. And so I think if you were to choose between the highlighter and the brush pen, I would choose the brush pen if only because in addition to the brush options, I much prefer the super fine tip that's on the other side. This one is like so small. It's not like fine liner small, but it is small enough to actually um, use in my planner. I've been using this for my dates um, and that has been working great for me. So I really do recommend these. If you're looking at the mild liners, I would suggest the brush pens over the highlighters if you're just getting started. Um, and if you already love the highlighters, you're probably gonna love the brush pens too. Thing number three, I got a couple of Tombow brush pens. These are the, uh, oh gosh, I think it's Fudenosuke. Um, but these are just basically designed for Japanese calligraphy. Um, one of these pens is black and the other one is navy blue. So that's how you can tell them apart. This one is uh, slightly thicker. And you can see I'm not great. But this is what they look like. So I've been using the blue one a little bit more because, as you know, I'm in this pocket size planner and so it fits nicely. That was really what I was looking for was something small enough to do headers because I can't do be doing headers like this in my pocket size. So this is great for headers. Um, it's also really great because it's a little bit firmer. So you can do the, you know, the fine lines really nicely and then it sort of collapses to do the downstrokes. So I just find that really great for like beginners. Like I said, I think these are designed for Japanese calligraphy, but I'm finding them really good for just modern calligraphy as well and my practice. And I think that these are a great option if you're looking for a nice fine point um, brush pen to do some practice and some headers with. 
Thing number four, my all-time favorite pens. These are the Pilot G2s. Um, this one's like a, a Frankenstein of a couple different versions all in one. But basically, I really like the 05 size um, and, of course, the erasability. I used to use these for all of my planning. Um, and then I felt like I got too used to the ability to erase. And so... I switched to using the, the gel pens, and that's been good for me, but I still definitely carry one of these around with me at all times because there's a few collections in my planner that I use them for, um, and so I always need to have one with me, and it's very helpful, and they're really, really useful. You can do a lot of cool things with these. I love the whole line, but um, if I were to recommend one size or color, I would recommend the 05. You have to get them um, imported from Japan, but they are available on Amazon. So check those out as well. And for number five, my daughter Agnes is here to show off her new crayons. She got these as a gift for Christmas. And these are the Crayola Twistable yeah. crayons. Yeah? Can you show us how you color? Ooh, what color is that? I yellow. It's blue. Every color is yellow right now. These are really cool because um, they don't have like the whole paper thing to peel off or the breakability because they're cased in plastic. And so basically once you run out of space up here, it's like a mechanical pencil and you twist it and it gets longer. So these are really cool. We have not used up the original tip that comes, you know, stuck out. When you get them um, it comes in a big pack I forget how many you got um, and she's really liking them and they're working really well so there you have it my five favorite writing implements for the month of January don't forget to check out the companion blog post which is linked down below and also in the corner and in that blog post you can find links to all of these different products on Amazon so you can order them yourself if you're interested or just check them out um, I do appreciate your support. Thank you for subscribing if you haven't already and liking the video if you do. And I will see you in the next one on Thursday. Bye.